Hello, I'm going to recite a, a poem. The poem is called The Cremation of Sam McGee. It's by Robert Service. And children, don't be frightened. It's not a real story. It's only a make-believe story. <clears throat> there are strange things done under the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was the night on the marge, that's a beach, the night on the marge of Lake LaBarge, I cremated Sam McGee. Now Sam McGee was from Tennessee, where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he ever left his home in the south to roam round the pole, God only knows. He was always cold, but the land of gold. Gold, 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 what's this gold? Oh, you dig around, you go down by the river and you dig around and you dig out the gold. He was always cold, but he was always cold, but the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. Though he'd often say in his homely way he would sooner live in hell. On a uh, Christmas day, we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your cold through the parka's fold that stabbed like a driven nail. If our eyes we'd close and the lashes froze, so sometimes we could not see. It wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. That very night, as we laid packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, and the dogs were fed, and the stars overhead were dancing to and fro, he turns to me and Cap says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess, and if I do, I'm asking you, don't refuse my last request. Well, he seemed so low, I couldn't say no, so then he says with a sort of moan, it's the cursed cold that's got right hold till I'm chilled clean through to the bone. Yeah, taint being dead, it's my awful dread of the icy grave that pain. So I want you to swear that foul or fair, you will cremate my last remains. Uh, pal's last need, a pal's last need is a thing to heed, so I swore I would not fail. We started on at the streak of dawn, but God, he looked ghastly pale. He was crouched on the sleigh, and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. But before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There was not a breath. half hid I could not get rid a corpse half hid I could not get rid because of a promise given it was lashed to the sleigh and it seemed to say you may tax your brawn and brains but you promise true and it's up to you to cremate these last remains Promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were mum, in my heart how I cursed that load. Through the long, long night, with the lone firelight, and the huskies all in a ring, howled out their woes to the homeless snows. <laughs> Quiet clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. But on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad and I felt half mad and I swore I would not give in. I would even sing to the hateful thing and it hearkened with a grin. Ugh. 
Oh, until, yeah, until, until, until I came, until I came to the marge of Lake Labarge. I came to the marge of Lake Labarge, and a derelict, that's a wrecked boat, a derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice, and I saw in a trice, it was named the Alice May. So I looked at it, and I thought a bit, and I looked at my frozen chum. And here, says I, with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. Some planks I tore from the cabin floor and lit the boiler fire. Some coal I found that was lying around and I heaped the fuel higher. The flames just soared. The furnace roared. Such a blaze you seldom see. And then... I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal. I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal and I stuffed in Sam McGee. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I took a hike. I took a hike because I, I took a hike because I didn't like, I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. And the heavens scowled. Huskies howl, hoo hoo, and the wind began to blow. I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear, but you know, then the stars came out and they danced about, and again I ventured near. I I was sick with dread. But I bravely said, I'll just take a peep. I'll just take a peep inside. I think he's cooked, and it's time I looked. Then the door I opened wide. And there sat Sam, looking cool and calm in the heart of the furnace roar. And he wore a smile. He wore a smile you could see for a mile. And he said, please close the door, for it's fine in here, but I greatly fear you will let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree down in Tennessee, it's the first time I have been warm. There are strange things done under the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that will make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge, I cremated Sam McGee. Thanks. Thank you, Gilder children. Thank you, one and all.